Now that our PCR is done, we're going to use a technique called agarose gel electrophoresis to allow us to A, see if our PCR was successful by seeing the DNA that we've copied, uh, and also seeing if the DNA that we copied is about the correct size. So we are looking for a piece that is somewhere around five or 600 base pairs. It might run just a little bit larger on our gel. Here's our agarose gel. It's this, uh, it looks very much like this very firm jello, right? But it is porous, so you don't see it, but it's there. And then the challenge here is that these are our wells. And so that's where we're gonna stick our DNA sample. Let me bring the camera in a little bit closer. Ooh, yo. So these holes there are the holes in which we're gonna stick our DNA. Okay, so let me adjust this again, sorry. And we are set, okay. So here's our PCR tube, right, from uh, our thermocycler that we loaded the other day. This is our loading mix. In this mix, we have uh, this thing called a loading dye, which has glycerol, kind of this heavy weighty molecule that allows us, uh, allows their sample to sink into uh, our liquid. And this whole chamber is full of uh, a buffer. It has a dye in there that allows us to see the DNA because ultimately we are going to see the DNA using a UV light and then a little bit of water to make up uh, the proper concentration. Um, we are going to mix a little bit of our DNA sample, our PCR reaction. We actually want to keep this because we're going to sequence what's in this tube. But we're going to mix this uh, using a piece of parafilm, which is like fancy lab grade saran wrap. Okay, so to do that, take your pipette and then we're going to set that to focus uh, zero, 040. Zero. That's four microliters. Okay, grab a tip. Remember, first stop, up like that. And then it helps to use your fingers to steady your pipetting hands. This is gonna be a lot of uh, steady hands work, all right? And then I'm just gonna put a drop, second stop, make sure I, I don't let go until I find, fully get rid of my pipette, and then I let go. I'm gonna put a small drop right there. Let's see, I don't know how well the focus that is, but a small drop, four microliter drop onto this parafilm. And then I'm going to get my DNA sample, so I'm going to roll my pipette. Constantly adjust to 0, 0,2,0. 0. All right, black 2, red 0. That gives us 2.0 microliters. And so I'm going to now take two microliters of our PCR, our finished PCR. Remember, teeny tiny little tube. And I'm going to mix that into our drop. So A small amount, I wonder if I can focus on this. Does that show up at all? It does not, but that's okay. A small amount. Uh, and then I'm gonna pipette that, and again, use my finger to help guide into our drop. Just like that, okay? Now I want all of that, so I am gonna I have about six microliters, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna set this to about seven microliters, okay? I didn't take off my tip, I'm still gonna use the same tip because in case there's any residual DNA in there, I wanna keep that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly pipette up the drop and then down, just like that, without ever going fully up or fully down. So I never go to second stop, I never bring up my pipette, so yeah, look at my thumb. That's my first stop right there that you're looking at. And then I'm just gonna go up, not all the way up, not all the way up, just like that. And this is called a pipette mix. And then finally, I'm gonna suck it all the way up as evenly as possible without leaving a bubble. And then, so this is what it's gonna look like. Come on, focus, dude. Yeah. Oh, better, yeah? Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. There'll be a little bit of a bubble at the end, but I want all my blue together. So now when I load this into the gel, I'm gonna push it until I get rid of the little bubble, and now I'm ready to load, okay? So this is, once again, steady hands. Make sure you know which, um, which uh, well you're loading into. Uh, I have my wells at the top, so this is actually one on the right. That's 15 on the left, right? So fill in where you're gonna load your, uh, which well you're gonna use. Do a count right over top. Okay, so this is, I'm probably gonna obscure it a little bit on the video, but maybe I'll try it like this. 
right over top again steady pipette into the well and then slow second stop as you're pushing out and then if you've done it correctly your sample will be in the hole just right there okay yes steady hands and then we're going to put the lid on run a charge dna is negatively charged predominantly so it's going to run from the negative to the positive side so we're simply going to pull the dna through and then uh, it'll allow us to see whether our pcr is successful or not